All right, so today you're going to try to challenge yourself a little. Go to a playground. I mean, if you can't get to a playground today and it's just like impossible because there's no playgrounds anywhere, I mean, come on, like test your commitment a little bit. I mean, sure, it's possible. It's possible you can skip this one and go to tomorrow's and then come back to this one, you know, but don't skip it at forever. Don't skip it entirely. Um, go to a playground and um, there's a little bit of, there's, you know, not being self-conscious and being okay, comfortable enough to like jump on there as an adult, absolutely. So there's that, the like level of comfort with yourself to in public go and get on a playground a little bit. You don't have to do anything wacky. I mean, hey, if you're like all in, do wacky stuff, laugh, giggle, make animal noises, whatever you want to do. But I'm not saying you got to do all that. I mean, what I'm really just asking for is challenge yourself to do three things on the playground. Um, they don't have to be big and certainly you can stay within your realm of physical ability. I mean, I'm not like, hey, go hang from your knees on the monkey bars and that's like way out of your physical range. Um, that's like, I haven't been in touch with my body like that in years. Okay, absolutely. Let's stay where you can, but don't go easy on yourself either. If you could potentially just like go down the slide, go down the slide, then go ahead. Um, and don't be too afraid about this slide won't hold me and blah, blah, blah. And it, mm, most playgrounds, especially if you're not on the teeny, teeny tot playground are fine. And, um, but oh my gosh, you know, if it falls down, it's not going to be on me. <laughs> uh, no, I mean, it could be something like hang from your hands from the monkey bars for just one second, one quick second. You don't have to go anywhere. You don't have to go like climb across, but try it. It's not as bad as you think. And there's not going to be a catastrophic, catastrophic failure. You've got like the ground, like this far off, you know, from your feet. Um, do something like that. Or um, run up and down the stairs even. If you're just like, no way, I got to pick something really easy. Okay, fine, basic. Run up and down the little slide stairs. Um, swing on the swings. Uh, you know, swing on the swings with like laying back and throwing your head back, you know, do something that's a little outside of your range that feels a little gutsy, you know, and feels a little bit like, whoa, uh, you know, I wouldn't normally do this or mm, a little more like, well, playful, playful, but, um, something that's testing your range. Okay. So don't, sell yourself short. I think that's the main thing. It's like, I don't want you to push yourself to a place where you're physically getting hurt or outside of your range, but don't sell yourself short either. I can't tell you the number of people that I see, um, doing, you know, when I, when I teach my dance lessons, um, that just are like, no, I can't do that. I can't do that. And they've like already decided before they've even tried. And then it's like, all right, well, can we break it down? Try it really small. Like, could you just, try and like hang from your hands for one second and then just lift your feet off like little mini thing and see how much you got. See, you know, and so do that. Don't sell yourself short. Make sure you're really giving yourself a shot at doing whatever it is that you think you can. Um, but challenge yourself to do three things and yeah, see why playgrounds are playgrounds. Um, see what there is to do, explore, check it out. If you did like this when you were a kid, jump back into that. If you didn't, um, you know, explore it for the first time. Explore it either way as an adult would, new. Um, bring people, bring your kids, bring your family, your friends, your partner, definitely. Um, or uh, even like I said, a sister, a parent, somebody that's so atypical to do something like this with, but do it, do it. See. They can get into it too, try it. It is ridiculous, it is goofy. And so what, you know, uh, go down the slide, try something. Um, if you're crazy enough and physically, you know, capable enough, you wanna really get good with the challenges and do something like, you know, rest your hips on the railing and see if you can balance there or, uh, you know, give yourself a little physical challenge in it too, but whatever comes to your creative mind and don't even have a plan if you don't want, just 
you know, start swinging on the bar or laying uh, your hip against it and seeing what happens. You just creative, intuitively, whatever comes to you that you might want to do. Run up the slide backwards. I don't know how many kids I've seen that think that's the most fun thing, just like going up the slide backwards. All right, do it, do it up, <laughs> enjoy. Uh, and you can get creative about what a playground means. Maybe you use the gym as this, um, but I bet you you can find a playground. Almost everybody can find a playground somewhere and drive to it, make it a thing. Um, don't but just be the adult watching at the playground because you know it's not for you, it's for kids. Play, see what it's like.